Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Sunday, December 17th at 11.03 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. Devastating space storms could hit Earth at any time, and we will only get 15 minutes warning, according to this article. A direct hit by a strong space storm caused by a CME from the sun would wipe out power across the globe and cause potential devastation. Violent solar storm due tomorrow to hit Earth could plunge a planet into darkness. This came out on the 11th of December. Did you guys know about this? I'll leave you links. Scientists are preparing for a geomagnetic storm, a blast of particles from the sun's atmosphere that disrupts the Earth's magnetic field. Well, it never got here on the 12th. But the nation's busiest airport is in the dark. More than 1,500 flights are grounded today. Did you hear Atlanta airport outage? Complicated, insanely busy holiday travel. They look very concerned. Look how concerned she is. Look how concerned he is. This guy. Look at him. Look at the hair. It's amazing the way it shelves out like that. Whew. <laughs> Eight days before Christmas and heading into one of the busiest travel weeks of the year, our son let out a plasma filament, and just before the filament arrived, a geomagnetic storm, which I checked, blew up many power substations. Most importantly, Atlanta. Now, they still have no idea what happened, but I can tell you what happened. A lot of red happened straight up through the K index especially when it blew up right here in the center of this major college index when the K blasted up. This is what I think caused that uh, substation to blow right here. We'll be waiting on others to say the same. Now, this is only at KP5 we're talking. What if it was at KP9? The magnetosphere is waning, and these minor perturbations are causing major effects to the, to the tune of insanely busy holiday travel being perturbed. And this guy looking very concerned. Thank you, son. Now, guys, in 24 to 48 hours, this filament is going to go boom. Where are we going to end up? It's just a glancing blow, but we don't know with the magnetosphere this week and a K5 causing a power outage across the planet. <laughs> well, it's actually just Atlanta, but. Whew. But that was a big blackout from a small substation, from a tiny geomagnetic storm, which happened to be concentrated near Atlanta. Now, the CIA studied the impacts of space storms. We covered this a week ago, but I want to share it with you again on psychic powers. And here's the article, and you have, can peruse this whole 824-page dossier on the geomagnetic effects of humans that the CIA has been holding from you. This is the Freedom of Information Act documents where you can learn about your psychic abilities during geomagnetic storms. That's a heads up. U.S. polar vortex to bring weather extremes off the scale. According to news.au Australia, they know a lot about North America. They put these colors in and it looks amazing. Here's the firestorm. Boom. But this is the polar vortex dipping down. Weather weirding is getting real. Man, they go off the chain in Australia. And the United States is about to experience an extreme Christmas, according to forward forecasts. Something very odd is happening to the jet streams of air that circle the globe. We call it the Grand Solar Minimum. And it's about to generate another of the polar vortex effects that has slammed the U.S. with heavy snowfalls much further south than usual in recent years. Especially these global warming years, you know what I'm saying? Here's the snow forecast for the next two days. December 18th, 19th, North America. New England, you're going to get hit. Northern Vermont, New Hampshire. Northern, the Dax. Boom. Up there in Lake Placid. You're getting two to three feet here in Washington in the next two days. This is massive snow. 
going up here into British Columbia as well and in Alberta. Montana, you're going to get hit with two feet. Northern Idaho, in the Cascades here in Oregon, you're going to get uh, 12 to 16 in the high country in the next two days. Now with this geomagnetic storm and the filament coming, expect these totals to increase as we move towards. So this is going to intensify into a blizzard because of this energy. And right now they're predicting uh, 4 to 12 inches in this region. And these are the days leading up to Christmas, the 20th and the 21st. Now here's the 22nd and the 23rd. And you can see the snow totals increasing here up through uh, eastern Canada, northern Maine, mid tip of Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, South Dakota. We got Colorado and Wyoming again in Utah. So this, the, the mountains will be covered here, folks. Heading into Christmas. East Coast, you're going to be way below normal for Christmas. The 23rd may have a white Christmas there, but look at this polar vortex sitting down there from the 24th to the 28th. All of North America is going to be cold. Boom. Grand Solar Minimum much. Here's the white Christmas forecast, folks, and I'll leave you a link to the white Christmas map. You'll see it down below in the description box which down on the left under the video says show more, click the gray show more, and you get all the links to all the things I've talked about, including the white Christmas map. So because we've seen the albedo map, all of Canada will be white, all of Hudson Bay will be frozen, and the polar bears will be safe and hunting on the ice. Much of New England will have a white Christmas this year, all the way down to central Pennsylvania, and if you cut the country in half, everything north of the middle will be white. It's a heads up. There's a potential even here for northern Texas and Mexico. 45% white Christmas in Mexico, yo. Whew. 26 dead, 23 missing, 15,000 stranded, and 90,000 evacuated as Kaitak or Duja cosmic ray fluxes the Philippines. I will leave you links to that sad story. Could geoengineering stave off polar catastrophe? Well, according to this woman, it could. And if you watch the video, she knows nothing about climate science. But she fully supports this idiotic idea, which is to put crutches under the ice sheet to stop global warming. <laughs> and I'm not lying to you. This is the most cockamamie thing I've ever heard of. With the world still nowhere near the emissions reduction needed to stave off significant global warming, Princeton University glaciologist Michael Wolovic thinks it's not a bad idea to consider other ways to forestall marine ice sheet collapse. And this week, he's presenting as yet unpublished, thank God, research that looks at the possibility of building an artificial sill in the ocean to support Thwaites or other glaciers with similar structures. It would basically be a crutch, <laughs> a massive material protected by boulders rising from the seafloor that serves to block warm water. These people are out of their minds. Oh, since when is the Antarctic warming or any other place? Since they made it up. How to survive climate change? Well, you look at the clues which are, which are buried in the Arctic, guys. This is a log home from exactly 1,000 years ago after the medieval warm. And these people were living in the land bridge from Siberia to Alaska, the Bering Strait, in a nice log home here. And they're not here anymore because the temperature dropped off from the medieval warm into the major grand minima, which led to the mini ice age. And these people froze to death, as well as anyone else that was living in this community. But we will not learn from our mistakes because we will be lied to. But we will leave you with some solutions with the Natural Hazards World Map, shared by a subscriber. And if you want to know where the safe zones are, they're right in front of you. Any of the areas that are 
light in color and are away from the tropical storm risks that are green in the oceans, none of the coastal areas where the arrows hit, and none of the yellow or orange areas, which are seismically and volcanically active. So this is a good way to look at the global picture of where to be in the coming decades for safety and eliminate everything above 45 degrees north latitude here. Everything up here is going to suck. Trust me. <laughs> it's already getting bad. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. They're going to put a crutch under the glaciers to save us all. Or cosmic ray flux will kill us in the meantime. But what is happening is a weakening magnetosphere and geomagnetic activity that is disrupting the planet. And it's only minor right now. We still have this baby coming in a day or two during <coughs> the cosmic alignment of Saturn, the solstice, and things are only going to get weirder. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so now. Share this with like-minded people. Become a member of our Patreon page. Support the work we're doing. Get access to the ranch, and we'll see you all in the spring. Peace. Be safe.